Curious about the new Formunsa disc from Taiwan? Well, I have them, I've tried them, and we're going to talk about it in today's video. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Kim Rosas. I'm a period products expert and the founder here at Period Nirvana. Period Nirvana is your source for all of the information you need to get started with menstrual cups and discs. You can take the quiz on Period Nirvana to find the right fit for you. And if you're in the US, be sure to check out period.shop, which is my home for all things reusable period products, including the new Formunsa disc, which will now be available to US customers for the very first time on that store. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. All right, well, you're here for information about the Formunsa disc. It now is available in two sizes, but before we get into it, I wanna give you some background on the brand, do a little unboxing, because you know I love unboxings. Then we'll go over the features and my personal experience with their size regular. Starting with some information about the brand. If you are from the US, it may or may not be a familiar name to you, but some of us know Formunza for their cup product. Several years ago, Formunza released a menstrual cup line that was modeled after the Femi Cycle, has that funnel style rim, but theirs is frosted and it has a really pretty tulip. Their packaging is gorgeous. They also brought in a trainer cup within that line. And then they expanded that line with the Formunsa XL, which has a collapsible base and a cute little round stem. So it is a high capacity cup. They have not been available in the US, so very few people have them, but a lot of people have heard of the brand name here if you are kind of into cups and discs, which if you're watching this channel, you probably are. One really notable thing about the Formunsa brand is that the founder, Vanessa Singh, was the first person to really popularize and make available reusable period products in Taiwan. So the Formunsa cup was the first cup available and sold in Taiwan. And now the Four Moons of Disc is the first disc available to Taiwan. So there are a lot of barriers in certain cultures and certain geographies as far as reusable products, especially internal. And so Vanessa has been doing a lot of work on the ground to popularize and make people more familiar and comfortable with using them, which is why they introduced the Trainer Cup to that market. And then they introduced the Four Moons of Disc concept, which was initially brought on as a crowdfund project, and that was successful. After the first one, they introduced the mini, and so now those are both available. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, these are now going to be sold in the US through period.shop initially. So we're gonna be selling them in their original packaging, which is gorgeous. And I will have the English version of the instructions available for you online if you need them. So definitely look over those if you decide to purchase after this video and uh, make sure you can read the instructions because you won't be able to read the instructions that are included in the packaging until they come out with an English packaging later on in the year. But for now, let's do an unboxing of the original packaging, which in itself is gorgeous, and I wanna show you everything about it. It is a gift type box, two people on the front. They do the typical, what you expect with any period product. You're gonna get the dimensions on the side. You're gonna get some facts and safety information, and then we're going to open up the box itself. You've got the disc sitting inside, cute little spot here and their bag. The bag is pretty stiff. It's like um, a shiny material. It has embroidered on it the phrase fly me to the moon and because this is sort of a space a UFO type object in the design including all the emblems on the disc itself. This is very fitting. Same goes for the mini box which is in a really pretty shade of purple. I love this color. Open it up and you've got your disc settled into the box in the same shiny climbing to the moon bag, which you'll use to store this in between cycles. And here they are. There are two different sizes. This is the regular and this is their mini. Let's talk about how you use a menstrual disc. This is a very brief introductory lesson on reusable menstrual discs. If you already use discs and you know all about them, feel free to skip ahead to the next chapter. Menstrual discs are very deceiving. They look quite large, but you fold them to be narrow, very similar to a tampon. In the case of Formunsa disc, you wanna be aware of directionality because it has three different notches, but you wanna insert it with that third middle notch last to enter your body because ideally that's going to stay centered and when you go to remove it, that's what you can grab. You fold it long ways like this, 
this one has kind of a sticky basket, you wanna fold it into itself because it can crumple and make it harder to insert. You insert with the bowl part facing up towards you and you wanna angle it towards your back. And then you want it to go behind the cervix. You're not gonna be able to really see that, but if you just angle it, it should nestle right into place. Tuck the front rim all the way up as high as you can make it tuck and there it is. It is inserted into your body and then you can wear up to 12 hours safely. Once it's been 12 hours or as needed, you take it out, empty it, wash it, and reinsert. For the removal of four moons of disc, this is where the design comes into play. It has these notches and in this case with the model, because it just put it in and I centered it, this notch is right where it needs to be. The notch is shallow. So for depending on your body and you, if you have fingernails perhaps, it might be easier than it was for me. I found it a little hard to get a grip on it because things are a bit slippery, but if you can get your finger into that little notch, that gives you the leverage you need to pull down, remove, and then grab it with a thumb and pull. And that is it. That is how you use the Four Moons of Disc, which is a very similar experience to any disc. So you can apply that lesson to every brand, but each brand's directionality for insertion and if it has a removal aid will differ. So let's really get down and dirty into these features on each of the Four Moons of Discs. Menstrual discs tend to be a one size fits most product. If you're looking between the size mini or the size regular, chances are you are the size regular. The reason being is that that vaginal fornix where the disc sits is a one size area for most. This actually really is deceptive as a product. It looks very tiny, but on the longest side, it is 72 millimeters and it holds 53 milliliters, which is slightly more than Hello Disc at 50, but it is less than some of the other discs that don't have inset notches or that have just a full round shape because those hold somewhere between 65 and 70 milliliters typically on a regular one size disc. This one I also find very deceiving because it looks so tiny, but on the longest side, it's 63 millimeters and it holds 38 milliliters, which is still more than basically every large size menstrual cup. So even the smaller option is still good for someone with a pretty heavy flow. So obviously the big innovation here is three removal notches all the way around. That way, if it spins in your body, you always have some sort of removal grip to get your finger hooked on as you remove it and these are both oval. So in theory, you won't need all three because the oval shape is meant to deter it from rotating inside during wear. However, if it does happen, you do have these hybrid notch loop options all the way around it. When we get to these notches, the centered one at the base of the oval is the one you're probably gonna be using the most. And if you feel around, I know you can't feel around unless you have one, but for me, it's really easy not to be able to grip because it's so shallow. I call this kind of like a hybrid loop notch. So it doesn't function as much as a notch as it does a little indent for your finger to then grab the loop which you engage and that becomes a loop. So it's a very interesting concept and one I think is very cool, very, very innovative, and I think it's a great idea. If you don't have fingernails like me, it might be harder to grab. The Four Moons of Disc in both sizes is that shiny tacky silicone, which is personally not my favorite from a sensory texture experience. And I know a lot of people share my opinion on that. I like a smoother silicone to touch. The tackiness doesn't affect any of the performance. Um, I know some brands have said it helps it stay in place better. I don't really know that that's the case. So I'm not a big fan. However, I will say that because Four Moonsa has the decorative motif on each one with the stars and the aliens and the planets and the astronaut helmets, all that's really cool. These also have measurement lines in them. I have never been able to really pull out a disc in a way that it stays completely full of everything that it had to begin with. You might have some stuff in it when you pull it out, but because of how you pull out a disc, it tends to be slanted, some things can come out, and then it does this and it comes out the back. So you'd really have to address it very carefully if you're truly interested in trying to utilize the measurement lines in the disc product itself, which I've just never really cared to do. 
um, and never really tried to do, but there are measurement lines if you want them. That is also the case on the size mini. The Formoons that really hit a good firmness for me, it's in the middle, it's actually a three. And it was really, really hard to rate because I really almost thought it was a three and a half, but as I continued to go through squeezing and squeezing and comparing, it is less firm than several of the three and a halves. But again, like the rim thickness and how it feels in your hand is so subjective that you may have a different opinion than I do when it comes to how firm it is. So I'm giving this a three. This one is a Luma Regular. You can see those. These are similar tacky silicones. This is the Hello Disc. This is the Formunsa Disc. This one has the tab that can be worn different ways, but this is round and this is oval. Three and a half firmness. This one's three. This is the Salt Disc, size regular. It has one single notch. This is a round disc. This is oval. And if this notch rotates, you no longer have a notch. Same for the Cora Disc, which was the first notch style disc to come out. And this one has like a deeper shelf as does the Salt Disc for putting your finger, but it doesn't have that loop. The new Diva Disc is an oval disc. And again, it's meant not to rotate. It has a removal loop and it is a softer disc than Formunsa. Comparing the Formunsa Mini to some of the smaller discs, this is the Luma Short. It is the first low cervix disc to come out. It has that removal string, and here you can see them side by side. This one is larger because it is longer, but it's about the same diameter. Ziggy Size A, which is another smaller disc. This is softer than Formunsa, has a trimmer rim. This is the Salt Small Disc. It has, again, that single notch. And I won't go through all of the discs on the market because we now have too many, but you can do all the comparing you want using the menstrual cup and disc comparison chart on periodnirvana.com. You can also go to thecupfinder.com and sort and filter things by their diameter, type of product, if it's cup or disc, if you want low cervix, high cervix, whatever. That's a place you can compare all the different products in one spot. So we have lots of resources to help you find the right cup or disc for you. So now that we've gone through all of that, how did it work for me? So I really gave the Four Moons to Disc quite a test. I do talk about it occasionally, it's not a secret. I have Crohn's disease. I was diagnosed almost two years ago now, and sometimes I flare during my period, and that can be a real challenge because if you know anything about going to the bathroom a lot while you're on your period, and you're using a like a reusable product, a cup or disc, that can cause some complications because as you are pushing, it tends to push a product out. That is really the case for cups more than discs. And so when I was using the Formunsa disc, it is a good firmness for me. It's like a three, it's a little less firm than what I typically use. However, the shape and the firmness together really kept the Formunsa disc in place, which is what I needed, for every time I went to the bathroom. It was a relief that I was testing a disc because had I been testing a cup that cycle, I definitely would have ended up switching to a disc. This just fit me so well that it never pushed past the pubic bone. And if it did, it re-engaged itself, which has always been my experience if I'm doing what is called auto dumping, where I'm going to the bathroom and I disengage the disc because I'm pushing and then it goes back into place. That worked perfectly for me with a four moon sub. It's still not, the disc for me as much as my Hello Disc, but it is a really good disc. And when I rated all of my top products that I tried last year in 2022, the Formunsa ranked really high. Number four on the list is Formunsa Disc. The reason being is that it's a good firmness for me, the shape didn't rotate and it never leaked and it was entirely comfortable. It especially passed my going to the bathroom a lot test, which is a big one. Uh, not every product has to pass that test, thank God, but this one did. And uh, the pain points for me were insertion. Of course, you wanna check the direction as you insert, so you have to remember that. If you happen to insert it upside down, you've got these uh, notches on the side you might be able to use to kind of move it around and remove, but typically you do want to make sure that is what goes in you last. The basket was kind of in the way. It sort of felt crumply. It's not the most easy to insert. It does like crumple in a way that makes it a little more complicated. And I've had trouble both times so far. I really had to kind of squat into getting it into place, which I don't usually have to do. And it's so weird because I don't usually have to do that. 
And that's when you get into the minutia of firmness and, and sort of design shape. When I was inserting it, it did give me struggles occasionally, especially the first time I inserted it. I really did have a problem with it. Um, also removal, it was just not as fast and easy as I was hoping, even though it does have the notch. First time removing the Four Moons of Disc. Never removed this disc before and it has three notches. So even if it rotated, I should be able to find a notch. Hmm. So I can pull with one finger, but I'm gonna have to use a thumb because it's not gonna hold on my finger. Okay, so that's that little bit um, but it didn't rotate actually the notch that was um, inserted uh, last was actually exactly where it needed to be and I think for me personally it's an anatomy thing not only for my fingers but also my vagina um, when I go to insert my finger and pull I really had a hard time catching that loop I don't want to a lot of coaxing. It's a lot of coaxing. <laughs> it's like a lot of come hithers. I actually have to push it. The string will not break. Literally like a foot long. Was a lot of coaxing and to get it to go through the loop at a certain point it can only go so far through the loop because the vaginal wall is there and so I wasn't getting the grip I really thought I needed to feel like it was secure it was still a hook I still used it to remove the disc effectively but it just wasn't as fast as I wanted. I was really focused on making sure that I was engaging the loop and using it as it was designed to use and uh, test that whole hybrid notch loop option. But I was getting frustrated and it did take longer than I thought maybe it should. I've removed this now several times. Last night was a struggle. It rotated. I basically have to bear down to get this disc out. When it's in there, it's in there good. If I'm just saying like as a product, when we're not talking about the removal or insertion, it was like a 10 out of 10, totally comfortable, totally leak free, never noticed it, which is typically my experience with almost every disc. When it comes to, you know, the Knox 2, this for my personal experience, it was just a little harder to remove than something like the Hello Disc, which for me has been the easiest of all. Um, but even still, when I was kind of struggling with it, it wasn't even that messy. So I was still getting underneath the rim and then able to pull it and avoid a lot of the mess that comes with some of the other designs that don't have a removal notch at all. But that's also something that comes with practice. Even when you have something without a removal notch, doing certain things like pulling it up as you remove it to make sure it doesn't spill, those can all reduce your overall messy experience with removing a disc. And if you do get blood on your hands, guess what? You can just wash them. Quickly touching on cleaning, it is sometimes a little bit of a pain because stuff can get stuck in these little notches. This does not pass the sitting on the toilet washing test because I need to like physically engage with it to get all the stuff out. It takes forever. But the slippery inside makes it clean out very easy, all of this inside basin part. You just wanna make sure you get the water and all these loops. Over time, I do think you will see staining build up around the texture. You can take a toothbrush, clean that. Down the road, you can do a hydrogen peroxide soak for any of the stains if you need to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Four Moons of Disc. 
I am certainly just so excited to see that it's going to be available in the US because a lot of people have wanted to try this product and have been excited about the design, as have I. And so being able to offer it on period.shop is super exciting. Uh, you don't know this until now, but I actually already filmed this entire review and edited it and posted it to YouTube, but never made it public before learning that Formunsa had redone some things to this disc. They changed the disc basin uh, motif. They made it larger scale. And at the time, it was not going to be available in the US. Not something you can really find. I can't sell it at period.shop unless certain regulatory things are in place. But we got to talking and we figured out that, oh my gosh, you guys are ready to launch here. There's a lot of stuff behind the scenes to selling and exporting and importing these medical products. Was going to just like make a little note in the original video, but between all the changes to the disc, I didn't have the many either in my hands. So I was like, you know what, is much work as it's going to be, let's just refilm the whole thing. So I did. If you have any questions about Formunsa, make sure to leave them in the comments. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. That way you can see follow-up reviews on all the products that I try every month. And I do try a new product typically every single month. And uh, a quick note to say thank you so much for all of you subscribing because I just reached the milestone of 75,000 subscribers. Actually, I think now it's at 80,000 and I am inching my way up shockingly to 100,000, which I never imagined in my, like in my wildest dreams, this channel would even get to 100,000 or even have the chance. We may not even get there, you know, fingers crossed. My kids do think it would be super, super cool to hit that milestone, um, but you know, we'll see. See you next time in one of our videos, whether it be long or short. Bye-bye. Ooh, For me, blah, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. For me, blah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.